What is the future of FEG? And actually, I have some people to call out over at the FEG, you know, the, the decentralized office of FEG. I have some people to call out in this video because I want to talk to you guys about just the future of FEG and where I see it going from here over the next two to four years. And the reason why I picked that time frame is because that's how I look at all of my investments. Most of you didn't know who I was four years ago. I'm 23. That's when I was 19. That's when I started my first really successful company, surplusfund.com, that has since grown into a multi, multi, multi seven figure, close to eight figure company in four years. And I share that just to tell you that, you know, in four years, a lot of things can change. And the beautiful thing is if you set your life up the right way along the journey, you're doing well, right? So it's not like, you know, you, you, you eat shit without use of better words. You eat shit for four years. And then finally on the first day of the fourth year, all of a sudden you're like a bajillionaire. That's not how it works. How it works is you're making money along the way and it just exponentially grows if you, if you play your cards right. And that's really where I see FEG going. You know, if you understand the team behind FEG, you understand the, the marketing power, you understand the value that's been created with all of these new products that they've put out, Smart DeFi being the most recent one, but everything from that to FEGX, you know, really just the initial tokenomics of FEG itself that started the trend of these, you know, deflationary tokens. If you understand how those are being put together, and the future of the crypto market, you'll understand that uh, the price of FEG right now might be low. In fact, it is low. And, you know, it might seem like a stupid investment because it was way higher at one point and now it's gone down. But over the next four years, you have to understand that a few things are going to happen. Number one is the overall crypto market is growing at an unbelievable pace. So if we just expand this pace out another four years and assume FEG doesn't grow at all in, you know, total... Um, proportionally, like, like they just stay with the market. They don't actually grow on top of that. Um, the investment makes sense just from that standpoint. But obviously we wanna beat the market. So if we wanna beat the market, then we have to assume a little bit rate of growth. And if we just assume that, hey, behind FEG's you know, production and development is some of the best developers in the world, led by FEG Rocks, who uh, there's a lot of rumors about the projects he's worked on before. I'm not gonna comment on those. But let's just put it this way. I think we can all agree at this point, pretty talented developer. And has put together an amazing team of developers, an amazing marketing team who's being led by Frankie. Shout out to you, Frankie. You're a good friend of mine. And, you know, just everybody that's involved in working on FEG. And you've already seen the growth now to a million holders of FEG uh, worldwide. It's very easy to see a clear path to get them into the top 50 of crypto market caps. And so if they're in the top 50, they're probably around four to six billion in current value in terms of overall market cap. Now, currently they're valued at 300 million. So if we assume that in the future it'll be top 50, that right there is a 10X. And that's assuming that again, the entire market doesn't move up as well. And so if the entire market does move up, let's say it even just two X's over the next four years. And now that what would be 6 billion today to be in the top 50 is now 12 billion. And now the market cap's 300 million and it goes up to 12 billion you can see that's a pretty incredible return, right? And so that's really what has me excited about FEG. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't need the money. If FEG went to zero, it would be, it would suck. It would be awful. I've already pulled out, you know, a lot of money and profit from it. You know, I would be like, all right, that kind of sucks. You know, it didn't work out, but I'm good. I made my money. But I think the chances of that happening are so low because there's so many holders of it and the project has continued to grow even in the down market that we've kind of had since May until I would say really, you know, maybe October, November when things started picking back up again. Um, and so even though there was a down market in that time, or at least a downtrend in that time, um, you know, you still saw Fed grow in the amount of holders and the amount of things that they were producing. And so that shows me that the people behind it, which I already knew, but it shows hopefully all of you, people behind it are in this to win it. They're in it to the end, um, regardless of what the price action is at that particular moment. You know, at one point, if you looked at the top wallets in FEG, um, the top 10, top 20 wallets that aren't, you know, the burn address and stuff like that, you know, those people, they have a quadrillion FEG. Well, at one point that was worth 40, 50 million dollars, right? And so you just think about that and they could have sold and walked away or at least sold a good portion of it, a couple million dollars worth of it and walked away, but they didn't. They still hold it. A lot of those wallets haven't moved and maybe they sold a little bit to take some profits, but most of those people have kept all of their FEG. And there's a reason why they've done that because they believe strategically in this token being one of the top 50 in the next four, uh, in, in the next four years. And I say next four years because hopefully, you know, or not hopefully, but uh, if you look at crypto history, every four years you have a massive upswing. And so assuming that we just went through the last one in 2021, I mean, somewhere around 2025, hypothetically, we'd see another upswing if nothing else changes. Now, obviously, the market's always changed. We might see it before that. We might see it a little bit after that, but that's the prediction, all right? And I'm fine. Hey, if I got to wait four years and if my 100-something trillion FEG is worth, you know, I don't know, 
30 million in four years, like that's a, that's, that's a win to me. You know, I'm, I'm happy with that. So that's my plan. That's where I think Feg is going to go. They're going to, uh, they're continuing to build out amazing new products and features. In fact, there's a great YouTube channel. It's the official Feg uh, YouTube channel. Look up the Feg Minute. They do it once a week where they break down kind of uh, in a couple minutes really simply what they've been working on, new announcements, new press that's coming out about Feg and the project. Um, and I've just been following that and been communicating with my, you know, people I know over there and I'm so excited. So with that being said, I hope that this video was helpful. Click the like button down below and uh, subscribe if you like the content on the channel and I'll see you on the next one.